well, um, as a researcher uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, the challenges we face is one, that one of capacity, capacity in terms of, you know, um, after learning the theory in school, when it comes to the applied, you know, research concept, we lack it simply because mentoring is not so much, so we do not have senior professors and also senior lecturers who can, you know, um, take us through uh, the task of, you know, paper writing, data collection, and um, also, these senior lecturers we have, they never return. Majority of them are not co connected to the rest of the world, so we lack um, we, re we lack expertise, you know, for mentoring us, and we also lack the equipment because we have very poor network connection. Softwares, econometric softwares, are very expensive for some of us to reach. Okay, our universities <coughs> also try to be connected, but you also find that I I do not know whether it is the uh, the, the what um, the service providers who have not given us a strong, you know internet link uh, or surface such that our internet runs very fast. So internet is very slow so that when you want to connect to serious journals you do not get into even when the university has subscribed to it. Now that is one. The other big issue with this is um, researchers is that one of you know getting funds. You know, you could be invited to go and you know provide I mean um, uh, present a paper outside but you do not have anyone who can sponsor you, mm -hmm. yeah? Like from here to USA, Washington, for, to present a paper, you might be having a paper, but it would cost you over 500, I mean $5,000. So as an individual researcher, underpaid, it's not an easy challenge, you know, for one person. So we need, we need support in terms of, uh, I think, travel grants and also research grants, because most of the research what we do as individuals, we do it without, you know, any funds, and that compromises on the quality of data and also on the research funds.